Well, hey, everybody. I'm uh, here with Chris Winkleman. And uh, Chris, thanks for spending some time with us today. You're very welcome. We started getting to know each other a little bit because I came to you for uh, some health advice. And you, uh, you've you been kind of a health nut for a while now. Tell me a little bit about that. My fitness journey, if you will, started pretty early in my life. I Probably at age 12 or 13, I was always very active in sports. And I was a wrestler in high school. And um, uh, in college, I kind of continued that on. Uh, lifting weights and things, but um, as I got older in my adult life, I've I've made it you know a discipline in my life, where it's a it's a big part of my life now. And I try as much as I can to exercise and eat the right way and get a good night's sleep, just so I can you know preserve my health and, and maintain the quality of life. Your your relationship with God really ignited in a new way when you started coming to Grace. Correct. So talk a little bit to me about what that was like for you to come to Grace and kind of find that relationship with God. When I went uh, for the first time, it was much different than the church that I attended growing up. Um, and uh, the, the more I heard and the more people I met, and it was very awkward at first, but uh, the more that I um, gave it time and, and learned about the church, the more I really, really liked it, and the more I got to trust the people around. And um, yeah, and then I formed that relationship with Christ, and uh, you know, it's been things ever since. Yeah. So how would that relate to, um, like your interest with health that happened really early, mm -hmm. and this, this interest with uh, a relationship with God came like later, yes. but how, do, how do those journeys intersect? Because there's a, there's a lot of similarities in the way that you describe it for you. I think so. Uh, a lot of people like you that, that ask me for health advice, um, a lot of times they say they are interested in being fit or they're interested in feeling better. Um, and I always ask, are you interested or are you committed? Um, and I think there's a pretty big difference. All of us would be interested in being healthy and fit. Um, not all of us are committed because it takes work and it's hard. And, um, but it, um, I think that is how, how it, what I would also say about my relationship with Christ. So there might be some other people that might be at service this weekend or hearing this that are that were in your your shoes and they're investigated or interested in spiritual things or interested in Jesus. What what advice would you give to somebody like that? Um, much like exercise, uh, I would say give it time. It, it's not going to happen overnight and it doesn't happen quickly. I, I would say give Grace Church or get, you know, give your relationship with God. Give that a chance. Ask the questions. Do, do the research and, and challenge yourself and at least answer those questions. At least uh, if you're going to strike out, strike out swinging. I mean, you, you want to at least give it some effort and, and energy and commitment in your life. So your Bible training, involvement in relationships, you're also putting yourself out there, getting to know people, yes. them getting to know you, yes. kind of all that, and mm -hmm. serving and just yeah. being a part of the community. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Chris. You're very welcome. Yeah. Appreciate you spending this time with us. Absolutely.